praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters let us listen to this word of god deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 we were reading verse 2 onwards let's read remember the long way that the lord your god has led you these 40 years in the wilderness in order to humble you testing you to know that was what was in your heart whether on whether or not you would keep his commandments and was three we read like this he humbled you by letting you hunger he humbled you by letting you hunger my dear brothers and sisters nothing happens in our life without god's permission if anything goes wrong seem to be going wrong even though we are leading a good life holy life don't worry it is everything is under the control of god it is just to humble you it is just to test you you know the problems can happen in our lives in two ways one is because of our own mistakes and sinful life the other one is god permits in our life to purify and humble us if you are leading a good life and happy life i mean a holy life without any sin and addictions and wrong relationship and forgiveness and in spite of that if there is evil happens the so called evil or maybe hunger lack of food lack of job lack of money lack of help lack of support or any other problem that you face do not get disturbed the lord permits this in your life so that we may humble down humble and we may go through this testing period so that we will come out victorious he humbled you by letting you hunger he humbled you by letting you hunger then by feeding you with manna he won't allow you to go on hunger he will feed you with which neither you nor your ancestors were acquainted in order to make you understand that one does not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of the lord if there is a problem here if there is a mess here there is a message there if there is a mess here there is a message there if there is a confusion here there is something the lord wants to speak to you in order to make you understand that one does not live by bread alone but by every word that comes from the mouth of the lord let's read verse 4 we read like this but you know though these experiences we went through the clothes on your back did not wear out and your feet did not swell all these 40 years though you went through this humbling experience of hunger and thirst the lord says the cloth which you were using the clothes on your back did not wear out and your feet did not swell these 40 years because um, a a group of people thousands more than around a mil, 2 million people who are going through the wilderness for them the most important thing is their cloth and the feet if something happens to their cloth is not easy to survive in the wilderness if something happens to the feet it is not easy for them to keep up moving along with the crowd they will be left below behind and they will be left to die but here God says all these 40 years the cloth did not wear out the feet did not swell that means the most basic needs of your life were always met the most basic needs were always given to you look at the holy family they were not given any benefits or any privileges but the most basic needs were given to them a shelter food accommodation and support It may not be the best one but they got something may they didn't get the best place but they got a place they didn't get any support but they got some shepherds and some cat some cattle to support they got the basic things they survived without any problem they don't need to regret about what they had to go through in 2 years in bethlehem they were provided the basic needs were given to them the same way even though we are crushed even though we are broken 
the basic needs will never be rejected by god somehow we will survive somehow we will move on therefore do not worry about what is happening in your family sometimes the problem problems may come like a mountain but when it comes to you close to you it will just disappear praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus let's read verse 5 continue reading verse 5 we read like this know then in your heart that as a parent disciplines a child so the lord your god disciplines you just like a parent disciplines a child the lord god is disciplining you when you when you when you have a small child as the child grows you will not give the all the best things in the world in the hands of the child you know what is needed for the child a child doesn't need a big laptop a child doesn't need a big football the child doesn't need the expensive food items the child may need just some milk just a small cloth and just a small toy so accordingly the parents provides even though the child may cry for the best ones and biggest ones and great ones the child may look at the look at the big bus going outside on the road the child may ask for it but the parents won't give it the child, parents gives according to the need of the child as the child grows the parents will also will give accordingly the same way the lord is disciplining every child everyone who is in this world the lord is disciplining you and if you got only this much that means you only need this much praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus let's read verse 6 we read like this verse 6 therefore keep the commandments of the lord your god by walking in his way and by fearing him therefore no complaints no blaming no comparison and nothing else to say but just come, go on obeying the commandment and fear him and this is what the lord is giving us on this day as a christmas message